So, do it. Decide. Is this the life you want to live? Is this the person you want to love? Is this the best you can be? Can you be kinder, more patient, more compassionate? Hmm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Decide. This is a poem by Meredith Gray, and I want to thank her very much. Um, I want to thank Simone for sending me this poem this morning on WhatsApp because it helped me to kind of center. Remember 490 and begin my day. So today uh, is the fifth day of the 40-day relationship building challenge, and I'm coming to you with some words of wisdom from the book of Proverbs, uh, verse uh, sorry, chapter 15, verse 1, it says this, A soft and gentle, thoughtful answer turns away wrath or anger, but harsh and painful and careless words stir up anger. So today, um, I'm coming to you with a task that has to do with rudeness. So love is not rude. So, one of the things that I want you to remember as you walk through this day is that when we speak, whether it's us speaking or the other person speaking, regardless of where the voice is coming from, the voice is actually directed back towards us. So when we speak, oftentimes what we're speaking is really our truth. When we're being rude, we're actually being rude to us because the rudeness is connected to a moment in time. Guys, you know I wrote the book, 490 Forgive and Live Fearlessly. And in the book, I talk about a moment in time when we all become afraid. Um, it's a moment in time when we experience something that overwhelms us. It makes us feel unloved. It makes us feel uncared for. Um, it makes us feel uh, an overwhelming sense of anxiety. And in that place called the room, what we actually uh, begin to do is we make decisions and we actually replicate the actions of the person who wounded us. So for those people that you are experiencing in your life, and perhaps you're also experiencing yourself being rude, what I often say to people is, you're still talking to the people in the room. And in fact, you're still replicating the actions of the people in the room. And so, um, as you move through today, I want you to be very thoughtful about the things that you say. Um, a gentle answer is one where we thoughtfully um, think about the best way to maintain love in the space where we are seeing certain things, observing them, and as we observe them, what really is, what we're doing is we're forming certain conclusions about them. So when we speak out loud to people, what we're telling them is our conclusions. But what I want you to know is that our, our conclusions are informed by the room. So on my profile, you can download a free chapter of my book. It's called The Room, and it will begin to reveal to you the place from which many of us speak until we heal and decide to stop speaking to the people in the room. So your task for today is to be mindful and always think of a mirror that's in front of you and basically say to yourself, every time I speak today, I am really speaking to myself. Be mindful, thoughtful, gentle with your words. Have a good day, guys.